if there's one story that I'll always tell and it might somehow feel redundant to other people because they always hear it every day is the story of gratitude to my brother for always um, being there for me, especially at the young age and teaching me how to read. There were books which were encyclopedias and uh, books called Reader's Digest. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but then these are like books where they decorated the the living and the dining room in our homes back then. And these were the rooms, I mean, the books that I used to learn um, how to read with, right? So this is one story that I always say, regardless of where I am, regardless of where I go, I'll always take it with me. So I'm saying this because the the learning or learning how to read rather at an early age it really sparked um also another interest which is writing and i grew fond of reading but even more i grew fond of writing and this that's how i mostly expressed myself and hence i say writing gave me a voice being an introvert it's not that and that's what people usually mistake introverts for they say they can't really communicate but it's not necessarily that case so introverts usually prefer to be by themselves and it's not that they don't really uh, know how to communicate but then they prefer not to communicate or they communicate um, in a certain way that is not really common or the norm especially with regards to extroverts so being an introvert um, made me resort to writing even more and you know when you go through challenges and you don't really know how to express them or to who to express them to i found writing as my voice right i was not really um an excellent math student but i knew that my strongest point was english or reading I excelled in reading from um, and writing from primary school to high school. And let me just be honest, varsity rather humbled me a bit and I got to learn more about writing. So when I found myself sitting across, um, you know, anything, either a bed or a desk um, scattered with papers and pens and uh, pictures of random um cartoons or whatever that it may be, I pictured um, myself writing a book and I pictured myself um, expressing um, the thoughts, the perspectives in no way that I could have ever imagined, right? So whenever I could, I would pull out a fresh, fresh sheet of paper and I would just write anything. So whatever came to my mind, I just wrote whatever, right? So it became rather a a regular exercise, so to say, and I started writing. And that's how one of my books came about. I started writing about my struggles. I started writing about how I felt because at some point in time, I would not, I was not able to express myself verbally. So writing was... Uh, an escape for me to um, express myself, to express myself, to express my feelings, to even talk about um, the daily things that happened in life, right? So it was a more comfortable thing for me to do and it really um, made me to be a far better writer than I am able to express myself um, verbally so one of the reasons why i'm not really fond of expressing myself verbally it's because of um, i had difficulties with my speech so yeah it would be really difficult for me to talk and it's not that i was not really able to talk but um, other people call it a speech impediment but yeah i would just rather stick to difficulties because i wouldn't say i'm impaired i'm i have a speech impediment but i just had some difficulties um with talking at times it's either i would stutter a lot or i would just swallow some of the uh 
the words that I would say involuntarily. So, yeah, and while I'm on it, and that's one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel. So, before I even um, go out of the topic, um, I gained my voice, or the writing gave me my voice when I have experienced challenges where I was not able to talk to talk to anyone i was not able to go to anyone for counseling i was not able to really speak my mind about it because it was really such a trauma traumatic experience and i resorted to writing and now when i refl i reflect i realize that you know writing gave me my voice and it it was so loud and yet so profound in the sense that I was able to to express myself in a way that I never thought I would so yeah what gave you your voice what do you think gave you your voice I remember I was looking I was watching rather at this um, YouTube channel and another individual said like actually YouTube gave them their voice and it gave them their confidence and it gave them their you know, the, something to look up to, it eventually became a passion for them. So what do you think? What gave you your voice and what are you mostly passionate about? And what is that one thing that you will always, always go back to and say, I'm glad I did this and I'm glad I did not give up on this particular habit because it contributed to where you are today.